All aboard the rape train! Welcome guys to episode 492 of Minecraft and I'm using the trains mod. Okay, so you can see that I'm riding a train holding three carriages and uh, these carriages actually help you out tremendously. Some are actually working carriages where you can craft and have portable furnaces or others that can only carry stone or gravel or wood actually. So uh, they're pretty interesting carriages and uh, let's go try them out. Okay, you can see the train, I've escaped the train but the train is still moving, I didn't stop it and it's slowly grinding to a halt, I hopefully think, otherwise it will continue going into a massive loop and uh, you can see that uh, it isn't all that um, sort of all that linear or you can see the uh, train once it moves up it's kind of and nudges into the blocks and sort of leaps into it but uh, it is Minecraft and uh, this is a pretty amazing mod just to just to look at the awesome stuff the carriages took me quite a while to master the uh, actual looping or actually connecting the uh, trains and uh, they were gonna it's gonna go over there and uh, it's gonna go on for a never-ending loop. So behind me is a wide variety of actually um, locomotives and electric trains. If we go press F5 again and uh, F1, you can see that the small locomotives actually have a smaller um, power or movement, so they wouldn't be able to um, pull three or more carts, while the bigger locomotives can pull the heavy loads, such as five or more carts. So you can see the massive size difference between the red and sort of the blue um, steam train and uh, this humongous little choo-choo train, Thomas the Tank Engine. This one is a tram, and uh, this one is uh, quite popular in Australia. This one is a, actually a coal train, and uh, what it does is transports heavy loads to all different types of uh, different uh, different train stations around Australia, or something along the, li along the lines of that. And uh, here's another sort of um, train carriage. My Bobby, that uh, these are all controllable trains, and I actually haven't spawned in the uh, wagons that can go in with them. So these are all powered; uh, the, you can all control them. And uh, when I first tried to test out this mod, uh, yeah, you can see the weird glitchy mod where they sort of disappear. Um, but uh, yeah, it's kind of buggy. This mod is kind of buggy, and uh, the first time I actually tried to uh, actually um, use this mod, I was actually very angry. I didn't know how to. Um, actually switch the train around so it looks like you have two cabins over here so uh, my thoughts were that you can enter both cabins both ways but unfortunately you have to face it this way it always faces the wrong way that you don't want to show um, if I get out of here I want the um, trains to actually show um, the other way but they managed to spawn the other way so, so it always goes against me what the way I want it to but uh, this is how you control the train alright so I'm inside the cabin and you just press R to get the GUI up and uh, this uh, sort of train the EU07, the name's up here, and um, what it runs on is uh, redstone, and some run on uh, diesel fuel, which is over here, or diesel oil, and uh, some run on coal, uh, which is the locomotives tend to run on coal, while the diesel fuel seems to be with the bigger engines. And uh, once we've given the, the, a nice little dosage of redstone, what we can do is just press the W key. You can't go back, all you can do is uh, look the other way and pray that the train goes back, and you can see that navigating small sort of corners is, isn't the best with this mod. The best way to showcase this mod is by using straight um, tracks instead of something like this where it just wiggles around like that and uh, straight lines make this mod uh, awesome but uh, if, you, if you're going up hills and down hills this mod doesn't look too good but uh, yeah it looks pretty awesome now. Now the easiest way to create crude oil is to actually find it. Now this is just normal coal and uh, over here I found some crude oil and uh, all you need to do is mine it and uh, deliciously you get these and uh, you need to create a distillation tower and uh, that sort of creates the crude oil so let's go do that now. Now the crafting recipes of this mod are quite strenuous so uh, let's go through the quick basics of this mod. So what you need to do is you need to create something along the lines of this to create your coal dust and uh, what we're going to do is we're going split this up and create a heap of coal dust and uh, then we're going to spread it around like a nice little square majiggy like this to create some clay and uh, there we go we're going to have 64 clay there and uh, then we're going to get the graphite and we're going to spread out the iron ingots like so to create the steel dust now uh, going to spread out some more to get some more steel dust and uh, once you've got the steel dust all you need to do is put it in a furnace get the lava bucket in there steel dust here to create the actual steel ingots and uh, steel ingots are quite incorporated in this mod steel ingots are used for 
basically everything. Um, you need to craft all this stuff and uh, once you have enough steel ingots, you can create the masterpiece of the distillation tower, which creates you the um, fuel for the awesome sort of engines. Okay, so we've got enough flint and steel to create the distillation tower, or actually, no, we're not. We need to create the firebox first, so you need to place the flint and steel here, and uh, there we go. We're going to place that to create the firebox. Now, we need to wait for more flint and steel, because we're going to place the firebox in the middle and uh, sort of replicate that same procedure, I do believe... Uh, I think we have enough. Let's see if we have enough. I do believe we need nine, but uh, oh no, we have perfectly enough to create a distillation tower. All right, so uh, where are we going to place it? We're going to place it over here. And uh, what we need to do here is uh, another lengthy process. We need to get another lava bucket. Amazingly enough, I found some oil sand, and uh, it's neatly located next to my little thing, hint, hint. And uh, there we go. We're just going to chomp it all up, and I'm going to eat it. And uh, we're going to go to our little distillation tower. And uh, so we put the lava bucket in the distillation tower. And uh, there we go. We got the oil sand in here. And we're finally going to get our crude oil. Very fun process. And uh, I'm going to show you what engines or actually what locomotives we use for s crude oil. And uh, two's not going to do us enough. But uh, we're going to summon this one on a little train track over here. And uh, we're going to have a little bit of fun with crude oil. Okay, so I summoned this bad boy up. And uh, what we're going to do is we're going to enter it in. Here's all the gadgets and the gizmos. And uh, one thing I'd like to introduce into this mod, a nice little suggestion, is that uh, the GUI for how fast or how, ex how much acceleration you have, you can also put the um, actual um, cargo in here, you can have six slots, so it's sort of like a chest, and uh, there we go, we put the crude oil in here, and uh, we're off to a flying start, hopefully none of the trains interfere, and uh, one did, but he got pushed by the way, and uh, I think we're slowing down, oh no, we're still powering on, hopefully we have enough crude oil, we're on to the last crude oil, but we're, that one's still going strong, can we make it, yes, yes, come on, come on, give me power, Okay, so we're on to a flying start, I'm powering on, and uh, that's pretty much the basics of this mod. Um, I really suggest you use it with too many items, it's really hard to craft all the recipes. Um, if you're here for an, you could be here for an hour finding all the stuff, and actually trying to craft it, and it's kind of a back and forth scenario. And uh, whenever I hit that train, my train seems to slow down in, exa in the exact same spot. Okay, let's see what's going to happen, am I going to crash? Ah, oh, yes. Whoa! Okay, we're going backwards now, okay. So uh, also one thing I'd like to show you is uh, if you face the other way, let's go to the cockpit. Come on, dude, let's go in. All right. It's always bugging me out. All right. So if you face the other way, soon enough, you've got to stop the train and uh, face the other way. The train will switch positions and uh, go that way. And uh, that took me a while to figure out. Um, it didn't really mention anything in the forum, but uh, it eventually worked for me. And I was pretty happy with the, with the end result. And uh, I'm zooming in now to try to find my train and uh, let's go crash it in again. And uh, another cool feature would be added if it crashes, it could get derailed or something like that. Come on, crash. Ooh, that's nasty. So these are the sort of wagons that you can attach to the trains and I'm going to show you how to attach them. But uh, let's go first through these. Now these ones are sort of like um, sort of uh, chests, double chests, and uh, they're actually huge. Now uh, they sort of uh, resemble stuff, so they don't actually sort of um, have to do this. And I actually pushed it and it sort of bugged out. But uh, this one is designed for logs. So if you have a tree cutting community, and they do work in multiplayer. So a lot of people have been asking me, can I do multiplayer? mod so this one is a multiplayer mod and if you have just workers that just use lumber well you can just store this and track with lumber these are all coal chests and mining chests but they store anything you want and here's a nice little carriage for your server ip you know, server owners and stuff like that and here's another carriage there's some trams if there's a tr yeah there's a tram over there so you can play can have a nice little trip on a tram through a city and uh, this one is probably the most convenient one this one is a furnace and also a crafting table so if i get on it and uh, press R, there we go, we get the crafting table and uh, vice versa with the furnace. So the way you connect wagons is uh, quite simple, all you need is a draft gear like I have over here and all the crafting recipes will be found on the actual um, farm and uh, here we go, we've got the red locomotive and uh, what you need to do is connect the, gra the draft, there we go and there we go, now it's connected. Okay, once it stops doing that, hopefully we'll go for this one and for that one. And uh, that's that's the weird buggy part that uh, trying to connect to is uh, a little bit hard. So we're going to go to locomotive, 
to this one. No? Okay. Well, uh, let's see if there, if it's working. Let's press R and uh, put the cargo in here. And uh, press R to get rid of this. And uh, no, 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 no. Let's go this way. Let's go this way. Okay, we've got one pulling. But uh, why can't we get the other one? Stop, stop, train. Stop, 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 stop. All right, let's get out and uh, try and push this one closer so uh, we can have a little bit more, more, more go with this. Okay, not too far, not to push too far, silly wagon train. Alright, no, you stay here, stay here with this one. Become friends. Oh, I need, I need this, there we go. Become friends, are you gonna become friends, no? No, I want you to be friends. Okay, let's get, let's just go in here and uh, drag. Oh, we're not friends with anyone now. But you see here that the train has uh, three wagons, but it is doable, but it's very buggy at the least to say that it's, uh, it's doable, but it's buggy. So uh, to try and connect them, you can see it's jostling around like that. And whoa, what just happened here? All right, so this, yeah, so it is kind of buggy like you can see. I rate this mod a 9 out of 10 Fruit Loops. It was really cool to see actual real cool looking trains in Minecraft. The models um, sort of kind of glitch in and out, but uh, it is real fun, um, the actual concept of having trains in Minecraft is really cool. There's all sorts of different types of trains that you can drive and uh, to finish the video off, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a lap of the speed train. This bad boy claims to be the fastest train in Minecraft, but it's uh, quite small and my legs and arms quite don't fit in the train, but we're going to press R and give it some electricity and uh, off we go. Okay, well it is pretty fast, or is it? Eh, it's kind of normal speed. I don't see nothing too fast. My, why are my hands all waddling around? Alright, faster, faster. Faster, evil train. Jump. Do something. Ride faster. So, uh, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And, uh, have a nice day. And, uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this mod review.